Hey, what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up, because it really does help me out. Today, we're talking about my relapse. So, I... Well, wow, let's get let's make it, let's get deep. Yesterday, I found a blade, and I came extremely close to cutting, which is something I've been free from. Let me have a look. How long? How long have I been self harm free for? I've been a year and nine months self harm free and I nearly threw that away because I found a blade. Siren go fast. Every time I film a fucking video I get in very close to self harming and I'm so proud of myself for not self harming because the urge was there, and the desire was there, and I had the tool, and... Well, what did I do? I messaged Alana. And Alana was amazing about it. I couldn't have asked for a more supportive person. If you don't know who Alana is, this is Alana. This is her GoFundMe. This is her YouTube. This is her Instagram. Alana is my biggest supporter and she's my best friend. I literally don't know what I'd do without her. But anyway, back on the subject. But yeah, I was very close to self harm and basically I got rid of the blade, I flushed it down the toilet. And I don't know, I'm just proud of myself for not actually engaging in that behaviour because I would have ruined a lot of hard work. Not to mention I'd have to lie to my mom about it. Because I'm going to see my mom not next week, the week after. So not this week, the week after. I'm going on the 25th. And I don't want to have to wear short sleeves. Not, I don't want to have to wear long sleeves all the time. Like, I like rolling my sleeves up. But then again, the place that I choose to self-harm is my heart. I'm glad that I didn't engage in that behaviour for a few reasons. One, it would have been a huge setback. Two, I would care about my mum and my sister's feelings. Three, I don't want to let people down. I just think... I just thought that I should make a video acknowledging what happened as a reminder that you can be doing your best and still have a slip off. Like, I'm doing really well with my mental health. My anxiety is still an issue, and going out is a problem. But, you know, I'm doing much better in myself. I think it's about having the right people around you. And I know Alana isn't around me, she's in Australia, I'm in the UK. But having that person to connect with via the internet really does help deal with all the other issues that come about, which are self-loathing, relapsing. I honestly, I feel like I've let people down. Now, I haven't even done anything to myself, but I do feel like I've let people down. And that's really hard to live with. Like, I haven't self-harmed in a year, a nine months, which is huge. That's how long my last admission was at the go. Because I still handled my last admission. So that's a long fucking time. And honestly, I think that I've done well in that time. And I don't think that should be over just because I nearly had a slip up. But I wanted to be accountable with someone for making this video. Thank you for watching, and if you're new, subscribe. Links to everything is in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.
Peace.